my boyfriend's got like bigger boobs than me. I am rich. I don't mind my belly, it's really hairy. Most famous person following you. Turn up at Sophia's and I'll be like, you've done enough. Let me take him out. Have I ever been drunk? How are you doing mentally? I've told this boy he's good looking and I think he's really fit. Hey guys, it's Rosie and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A and I'm going to be answering any question that you guys ask me, including like drugs, alcohol, boys, school, girl problems, literally everything. So stay tuned. Anyway, before we get on with this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos just like this one go follow me on tiktok and instagram as i post them there daily and as i said stay tuned because i'm answering any question when i mean any i mean any let's get on with this q a so i asked you guys to ask me some questions that you wanted to know and i literally said any questions and the first one that came up for me was how many kids do you want i've never been asked this on a q a so i thought why not tell you so lots of you will know my cousin sophia grace has just had a beautiful baby boy and i have met him and he is literally the cutest boy ever i love him so much and at the moment i do not want any children of my own and for the time being i don't but when i decide to have children which is going to happen i actually really want a big family maybe four kids i'm a child of two and i wish i had more siblings another question that you guys asked me was how many boyfriends have you had so i have had I think I've had three boyfriends. No, I've had four boyfriends. One in kindergarten or nursery. One in year six, grade five, I think it is. Like just before you go into high school. Two in high school. So I've had four boyfriends. Just to clarify, I do not have one at the moment. I'm not looking for a boyfriend. Not saying I don't want one because I really do want a boyfriend, but I'm just not looking anymore because the right person will come to me. That's how it's gonna work. Another question that you guys asked me was, what is your biggest accomplishment? And this is actually a really, really hard question for me. I'm really proud of everything that I do, but something I'm most proud of is being able to say that I went on the Ellen show for like the last time as like the rap show. Not only did I go on the show, I sang on the show and got to promote my music on the show, which was actually really new for me because I had never sung on the show after the 33 times I had actually been on the Ellen show. That was the first time I sung on there but I'm so grateful because without the Ellen show I wouldn't be where I am today and then also all of my songs because I'm so proud of them. Somebody asked me muscles or abs and I'm assuming this is on a guy I think it's like kind of on the same lines as like you asking a guy like boobs or bum. For me personally it's abs but I don't want like really really muscly just like a bit so you can kind of see them but then they're not really there. I don't want like bodybuilder you know like massive i just want like a little bit like i don't want a guy to have bigger pecs than me because like you know bodybuilders they look like they've got massive boobs and like imagine being like yeah my boyfriend's got like bigger boobs than me how embarrassing celebrity crush easy michael b jordan i love him so much if you don't think he's fit like be real with yourself what is your favorite animal this I need to tell you a story about this. My favourite animal is a butterfly, and I don't think they're they're an animal, they're more of an insect, but still, they I class as, them as an animal because I think they're my spirit animal because I see them everywhere. And when I mean like just flying around, I mean they will land on me, on my hand at special times. When I filmed the music video for my new song Hurt So Good, there was a butterfly on my nan's side and I picked it up. It didn't fly away, it stood on my hand. I tried to put it down and it would still keep crawling back onto me. Have I ever been drunk? Um. Ask me that next year when I turn 18. How are you doing mentally? So I've never been asked this question, but at the moment I'm doing really well mentally. I'm a very strong person. I do get quite a lot of hate um, from loads of different people, but that like I can understand that because with the amount of following that I have and the amount of views that I get on like videos and stuff, I'm going to get hate. Everyone is going to get hate. But I'm lucky to have amazing support around me from my family, all my friends and obviously all of my followers i am doing really well at the moment and i'm happy with how i am and what i'm doing but i do feel really bad for people who don't have that type of support because the people who are putting hate don't know what's going on behind the cameras you know and to anyone who isn't 
very happy or like mentally unstable, please talk to somebody because talking is amazing. And if you guys do know somebody who is really sad or mentally unstable, talk to them because talking helps. I talk to my mum, my friends, my aunties, I talk to everybody and they always help me. So talking is amazing. But at the moment I am doing really well. Thank you for asking. Do I have a crush? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Um, I told this boy he's good looking and I think he's really fit and I think he's a really nice boy, but he's not getting the hint. So he's either not getting the hint and is a bit stupid or he's getting the hint and just doesn't want it. So anyway, moving on, not talking about it anymore. I told you I was gonna answer everything guys. What's your snap score? My snap score is 294,533. Who is your favorite celeb that you've met except Nicki Minaj? My favorite celeb that I've met, I've told you this literally a hundred times and literally made a video about it, Rihanna. I love Rihanna. If I could meet her again, I think I'd actually cry. I want her to adopt me. Sorry, mum, but I do. She picked me up and kissed me on the cheek like her own child. And the worst celebrity that I've met, um, I definitely know. But I'm not going to say on here, and I've said it multiple times on my YouTube channel, so you'll just have to watch some of my videos to look for that. Anyway, uh, moving on. Your worst trait, biting my nails. <laughs> I bite my nails so much, but look, I've literally grew them out. I know they look bad, but I've just took acrylics off, and I'm so proud of them because I have not bit them yet. We need to find someone who does biab. If you don't know what biab is, it's basically this stuff that goes over your nails, but it's not gel, so it doesn't come off. It makes your nails grow. Mum's just showed me my Instagram. I'm on 890k currently, and I need 110k more followers, and I'll be on a million on all of my platforms. Go and follow my Instagram, please. You shouldn't be eating meat. I have a lot to say about this. Coming from somebody who knows someone who is vegan, aka my mother, who has been vegetarian since she was about 11 years old and doesn't eat meat, I will eat what I want. I'm not going to any vegetarian or vegan saying, Ugh, why are you eating that? You need to eat me. I'm not saying that. I understand you have your own opinion and you think it's wrong. If you choose to be vegan or vegetarian, that is your choice and I'll fully support you. But do not tell me what I can, can or cannot eat. Thank you very much. Because I like McDonald's chicken nuggets too much. Will you and Lily move to California? So, as you all know, I love LA and I literally go there every single year um, to do music or just go on holiday there. I am actually going in two weeks, funny enough, to do new songs for you guys and you don't understand the content that I'm gonna get out there in two weeks. I'm so excited to go. I probably won't move out there because I do love my family and my friends and I will miss them, but I probably will get a holiday home and go out there just like loads, you know, and stay out there for like long periods of time and then come back home because that's where I do all my recording. Me and Lils have actually spoke about maybe moving in together or and like getting a little apartment or a flat. Um, imagine the content, like late night house parties. Oh, when we're 18, I'm so excited. So definitely subscribe because you do not want to miss that. Who is the most famous person following you? So. This is actually a hard question because I can't just like look and it says like the most famous person and then down. And the person that I know is obviously Nicki Minaj and Ellen. They both follow me. Nicki Minaj, she's following 600 out of 212 million people. I'm one of them. She follows me and Sophia and then obviously Ellen. Yes. So I will forever be grateful because she's always in my life and she literally likes my posts and everything. So. so she's always there for me, which is so nice. Do you have a prom date? I have a dress. I do not have a date, but that's fine because I'll be going with my friends. But if anybody does want to ask me, you know, I'm free. I'm so excited. Mum's doing like a pre-drinks party and then obviously after party with my friends. How does it feel being an auntie to Sophia's baby? It feels absolutely amazing. I can't believe like I'm Auntie Rosie. Technically, I'm his second cousin, but I do want him to call me Auntie Rosie. Um, but I'm going to be the party auntie, you know. I do like toddlers more than newborns, so I can't wait till he's a toddler. I'll be able to drive by the time he's a toddler, so I'll turn up at Sophia's and I'll be like, right, You've done enough, let me take him out, I'll get him a treat, I'll buy him whatever he wants, you know. I'm so excited. Party auntie. Yes. Are you rich? Not gonna lie, 
I hate this question and I really, really do. I get asked it a lot. So I want to clarify something. Just because I do YouTube does not mean I am rich. My dad has two jobs and two businesses and he works every single day. He works his bum off. He is such a hard worker and I appreciate him for that. Any money or anything that I get from YouTube goes into a trust fund. My mum and dad do not get that money. I have not got access to that money yet. And and I do not use that money. Whatever we have, my dad works for. He works for this house, lucky enough to get a car, food, and we have enough money to live. So I wouldn't say we are rich. I would say we're on the same standard as all of my friends. And if I was rich, I'd be living in California next to the beach with a tiny room mansion. I know a lot of people on this platform who only care about money and only do it for money and I've had influencers outright come up to me and say how much did you get for that how much did you get for that deal and I'm doing it because I love this job and if I earn money out of it it's a bonus everyone wants money it's how we all live realistically I'm not doing anything for money I love singing and I love YouTube I do them two things for myself and for my own happiness and for you guys obviously and I've also had fans and random people come up to me asking me if I'm rich and how much I earn first of all none of your business second of all it's not classy if you could go back in time to one moment in your life what moment would it be love you by the way thank you so much I know what you guys are thinking you'd probably think oh you'd go back to the Ellen show you'd go back to meeting someone but no my favorite point in my life so far would have to be my sweet 16th birthday party because I was surrounded by all of my friends, all of my family, all people who support me and it was probably the happiest point in my life. I loved that day, I had such a fun night and if I could go back to it again, I would do it tomorrow. So, um, mum, you don't know this yet. I'm gonna have my 17th birthday and it's open doors. Same place, same time, everybody. It was called Rose Fest and everyone was talking about it and is still talking about it. Um, I do throw the best parties, what can I say? You need to go and check that party out. I literally filmed the whole entire thing. It's on my channel, Sweet 16, so go check it out. Let's do one more for the road, guys, but then I think I've answered everything. Okay, guys, so we've never done this before. I did say I was only gonna do one more, but we're gonna do some quick fire questions. My mum's gonna ask me these. I don't know them yet, so I'm gonna be answering them on the spot. Mum, let's go. Coke or lemonade? Coke, one million percent. Curly hair or straight hair? Oh, depends on the day, but mostly curly. I do like curly hair a lot. If you could have one thing in the world right now, what would it be? A glittery pink Porsche Carrera convertible with white interior. Top five songs? Slow Down by Chase Atlantic. Die For You by The Weeknd and Ariana Grande. My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. Needed Me by Rihanna. Sky Full Of Stars by Coldplay. Favourite colour? Pink. I love a bright neon pink. If we're actually going into like colour colours, then sage green. What shows have you appeared on? Nova Jones, BBC. I've done two episodes on Sam and Cat, The Brick Brats, and then The Brick Brats Return. And then I also made my own movie, Spirit Grace and Rose's Royal Adventure. Pretty sure that's it. Do you still want your belly button pierced? Yes. Don't you think it would look so nice like here? Don't mind my belly, it's really hairy at the moment. It would look so nice in the summer once I get like a toned belly, you know? All of my friends have it. Right, this is the last one. How often do you smoke weed? On the daily. Joking, I've never smoked weed before. Um, no, I've never smoked weed before and will not do it because realistically I'm probably allergic to it and also it's illegal. But I do smell it a lot and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that smell? It's disgusting and my mates are like, that's literally what weed smells like. It is so bad. I don't understand. Mm -mm, no. Isn't it like legal in America? I think for medicine or like for stress or if you get it prescribed like by a doctor, it's legal. But in England, it's just illegal. Guys, on that note, this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos just like this one. Also, go and follow me on TikTok and Instagram as I post them there daily. I love you all guys and I will see you next time. Bye! Also, I'm actually debating whether to move in with Lily. Like, don't you think it would be so funny? Also guys, my new song Hurt So Good is out now. Click the bottom left square to listen and subscribe to my channel for two videos a week. Love you all. Bye!